Hey, queer comics! It is the lovely and talented Ted Morris, Canada's uh, prettiest and funniest uh, veterinarian slash stand-up comedian uh, slash book model. I've got the like, amazing feet. Uh, yeah. So it was just yeah, whatever. Whatever. It was for Birkenstock, so maybe they thought I had lesbian feet, but whatever. I'm not judging. Uh, comfortable. Comfortable. That's why lesbians wear them, because they're sensible women who like comfortable shoes. Anyway, we're here not to talk about footwear, but to talk about violence. Uh, that's just it, violence. I don't know if I'm... That, that was the topic, as given to me. Violence! Okay. And? Just, just violence. I'm like, alright. Yay, violence! Oh, probably shouldn't do it with a fist. Uh, so, I guess, uh, I guess I'm against violence, like most uh, normal people are. I have very limited experience with violence, uh, personal violence myself. I did play hockey, uh, but it was in a gay hockey league, so the only violence was from a very angry lesbian that was on our team. She was very angry about something. My only personal experience with violence was uh, grade nine. My grade nine bully decided to up his game one day and uh, decided to expand upon his campaign of just uh, shoving me into and or locking me inside of lockers. Uh, I was very small and the lockers were very spacious. So don't get too upset. Uh, and then one day he just decided to punch me in the face for no reason. And I got a bloody nose, not broken, despite how it looks. But I did fall down afterwards and uh, cut my head open on a Coke machine. So that was fun. I got to go get some stitches for that. And that one experience with violence uh, made me not really want to get into any more fights. And uh, yeah, to all the people who have tried to get into fights with me, because uh, people do like to pick fights with me, because I'm a little bit of an instigator. Uh, they usually call you a pussy. Like, what are you, pussy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total pussy. I don't like pain. I don't like getting punched in the face. Look at this face. Why would you want to punch this? It's a nice face. I don't want to mess up this face. So yeah, uh, guess what, uh, douchebags that want to try and fight with me? Uh, I don't care what you think. So you can call me a pussy all the live long day. Uh, it does not hurt my feelings. Uh, yeah, I don't really care if my feelings get hurt. Uh, I really care if my face gets hurt. My precious face! Please don't hurt it. I would much rather use my words than my fists. Uh, as far as violence goes, I sharpen up my words and then I shiv a bitch with them. That's essentially what's happening. Now, I was also called a pussy because I avoided a fight that I was not involved in. I was outside of a, a comedy club, hanging out with one of the comics. We were uh, walking up to the show, and I have an eagle eye for violence, so like I could just sense that shit was about to get real, and just bypass these two bros who are about to get their bro down and just fucking give her a man. And so I just gave them a really wide berth. I'm like, well, let let the idiots fight. It's all they have. Uh, and then the other comic's like, no, no, we got to break this up. I'm like, why? Why? Because right now. I'm not getting punched in the face. Uh, and two strangers who are perfectly evenly matched. If they weren't evenly matched, I might have stepped in, but it was just two douchebag bros, so let them sort it out. <laughs> let them do it. They're essentially, you know, butting heads like deer during rutting season. Why do I do these nature references? Uh, yeah, so if people want to fight each other, go for it. Just don't involve me. And then this other comic is trying to drag me in. He's like, you just darted away. I'm like, yeah, because there's about to be a fight, and <laughs> I don't want to get into a fight. As already established, I am a pussy. Uh, yeah, if it had been like some dude who was like seven feet tall and then some little, you know, three foot tall dude, maybe I would have stepped in. No, I probably wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have because I'd be watching me like, I don't know, I don't have any backstory. Maybe the little guy's a big asshole. It probably was. Those little people, you gotta watch out for them. Dangerous. Only other place I experience violence is when I am on stage. Uh, yeah, some comics have had to, like drinks thrown in their face or uh, an actual glass thrown at them while they're on stage. I myself have had uh, a shoe thrown at me uh, and a tampon. Uh, no, not a, a used tampon. She wasn't so angry that she's like, this is bullshit! And just like whipped it out and flicked it at me. Uh, it was a fresh one from her purse. I'm not quite sure the message she was trying to direct to me with that uh, confusing bit of feminine hygiene 
anger, but uh, yeah, that's a weird place to direct violence. A lot of people don't understand that you know, when comedians are on stage, what we're doing is telling jokes. And if you get mad at a joke and decide to get violent, well, you're a moron. Uh, I was taught a very nice technique where you should always grab the mic stand. If you think someone's about to attack you on stage, grab the mic stand. Those bases are heavy. Use as a weapon. You can keep them away from you. Very smart words from a wise man, Boyd Banks. Uh, yeah, so basically, in closing, uh, violence bad, uh, not violence good, and uh, use your words. And if you're walking away from someone who's trying to get into a fight with you, I recommend walking. Uh, just walk away with confidence, shoulders back, uh, because nothing enrages someone who wants to fight you more than uh, you running away from them. You might get a, yeah, yeah, pussy, which I love, uh, we've established, uh, but you might get the pitter-patter of ignorant feet uh, chasing after you. Yeah, so here's how I avoid violence. Uh, first of all, stay away from stupid people. Uh, second of all, even if you want to say something, sometimes it's best to just leave your little mouth shut and walk away. Third of all, if you're a mouthy little bitch like me, I, I am, uh, make sure you're standing next to a bigger, even mouthier bitch. Uh, I highly recommend Richard Ryder for this. So yeah, if you, if you want to be mouthy, uh, if you're a mouthy little like, yeah, and another thing, yeah, you wise guy, uh, it's always best to have uh, really, you know, big and or strong friends and or just people who look intimidating or just some random person in the audience to throw tampons. I just want that. So yeah, so uh, hey, I think that's all I have to say about violence. Um, yeah, I just uh, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Just uh, stop, just stop it. You're a jerk. Hey, yeah, and if you're watching this a week, it comes out. Uh, myself, Trana Winter, and Richard Ryder will be performing at the Ottawa Yuck Yucks for Laugh Out Proud 11, uh, a big gig comedy show for Ottawa Pride. So uh, yeah, come out and see us Thursday through Sunday. It's gonna be amazing. And uh, please don't throw anything at us. Uh, no shoes, no glasses, no tampons. Uh, just throw us your love and affection. And uh, of course we never say no to shots. Uh, that's it for me. Thanks again, everyone. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side, interwebs. Ciao.